this is a pretty tough fight to pick because Barriott likes to come in with these big lunging overhand rights and stuff like that. Cause it, but he uses it as a way to cover distance and get guys up against the cage and grapple sometimes. Right. But he has power in it. So you have to respect it. So one of the things that here's what I think is going to happen for both guys in order for both guys to pick up a win, right? For Barrio, he's going to have to turn this into a grappling contest. I think that you have to find ways to close space and get this fight up against the cage. And really also, when you're throwing your combinations in open space, work the body of Park because he tends to keep his hands high and he head hunts. You don't see him – I haven't seen Park work the body a whole lot in a lot of the fights that I've watched. So I think that if you work the body, it'll be there. It'll get you to lower the hands, and maybe you can come up over the top with some of that power in your right if you're Barrio, right? But – safest way to victory especially because like i said if you go back and watch that jodko fight he likes to cover space with that big overhand right get the fight up against the cage and then initiate in the clinch i don't know if he's going to be able to do that against park because park will just slide out of the way and counter and you know like he's really good with his foot footwork and pivoting and when you got a guy lunging at you and you're a counter puncher that's your fucking dream you're like there are the openings this is what i want so i think barry Alt, in order to do this is going to have to slow down Use some good fundamental boxing, um, stick him to the body, open up the head, and those strikes will start to back him up, and you slowly put this fight up against the cage, and you're doing body work, knees, stuff like that, trying to drag this fight to the ground. Because there are some things that you'll see that Park does. Like, I was watching one of his fights in one of uh, the organizations he was in before he made his UFC debut against Hernandez, and um, he, like, gave his back up and stuff, but the guy he was going against just – wasn't able to capitalize on little things that Park was doing wrong. So he was able to stand up and get out of things. Um, if Burial is reckless with his striking and he's not careful and he's not calculated and he's not defensive, like if he's dropping his hands or his hands aren't coming back to his face after he's throwing combos, it's going to be a long fucking night for him. Park can box. You know what? He's a really good striker. And uh, – almost reminds you of conor mcgregor in a little bit of a way right he's really good at striking while he moves backwards like he just slides out of range and comes over the top with stuff and he and then it's not just that he hits you with a punch or two he hits you with like three four five punch combinations and he's able to do damage man this is uh this is a tough fight for both guys but i'm going with barry all mainly because in a striker versus grappler matchup i've learned that you a lot of the times i'll lean towards the grappler you know and uh, like I said, I, I just think if Barry Alt slows this thing down, he's able to wear on Park up against the cage and stuff like that. He'll be able to slow this fight down and get a, grind out a decision win. He might even be able to stop him. Maybe, you know, get a submission or something like that. But if he relies on his power in this fight and goes head hunting or he gets a little bit out of position on things, he's going to face the consequences and Park might be able to capitalize. This is actually a really tough fight to pick. Um I'm not very confident in selecting either guy because, like I said, you just don't know what kind of game plan Barry Alt's going to come out with. But um, I'm going to go with Barry Alt v. Unanimous Decision. I just think it's going to end up being like, uh, you know, kind of like when Devin Clark fought Alexander Rochick, a guy that we're going to talk about later on the card. Um, immediately he came out engaged in the clinch, and you just want to shut that power down, man. And not that Park has that kind of power, but I think he's a little bit more deadly on the feet. And, like, in pure boxing exchanges and things that happen in the center of the octagon, if this fight takes place in the center of the octagon, I think it's going to be a long night for Mark andre Barrio. But I do think he's going to slow it down up against the cage, wrestling, clinch work, stuff like that, body shots, and get the win.